हे गाइस सो वेलकम टू द सेकंड एपिसोड ऑफ द संस्कारी टॉक्स दिस एपिसोड इज द मोस्ट अवेटेड एपिसोड वेयर आई हैव दिस स्पेशल गेस्ट welcome mr tanay singh head boy of loyola academy and he's from department of psychology also he's a digital artist hello mr tanay how are you hello rohit i'm doing very good and how are you i am always good <laughs> so th- tell me tanay why specially psychology well, psychology is a very interesting subject i'll admit i've never studied psychology before pursuing it in my undergraduate and i was originally a student of by pc i was studying by pc in intermediate i did not have plans of becoming a doctor but then i am the eldest child in the house so i was expected to take up science which i did but then my parents did let me at least pursue what i wanted and here i am studying psychology literature and journalism so do you think psychology has future in india definitely yes especially keeping in mind i just give you some examples of what have happened recently so during covid we saw um, the case of sushant singh rajput committing suicide and i think that sparked a very important conversation surrounding mental health and you know how mental health has been neglected in india for a very long time it still is it still is very stigmatized but then i think it is getting that acceptance slowly and i've heard more people talking about going to therapy seeking help for their mental health even people that i know personally which is actually very nice because mental health should be a priority for everyone not just your physical health so yes i do think it has a future in india all right so do you think your department the psychology department will help you to get the role of head boy my department yes they definitely did i mean i wouldn't be here if my department hadn't provided me with the opportunities that they did because coming to college it's an entirely different environment from what we have been in before pehle ka isse pura alag tha okay and coming to college everything is new so the work that i did through my department and getting involved with the college through my department is what has helped me get this position so definitely they have okay so how do you feel being head boy of loyal academy well <laughs> feels good honestly it feels good because there is so much happening in the college and to be in the know of all of that is definitely something i enjoy and uh, leading the student council i'll admit that I personally love the people that we have in the council this year each and every one of them so talented I mean definitely it's not a smooth sailing journey everyone is in their 100% at all times but that is all right because I think all of us as a team make up for each other and I think that is the best part of being the head boys witnessing how all of the others come together to work so could you please tell me or tell you our audience regarding the council the council what is this council in loyal academy okay so to put it easily the council is the student body that conducts events in college that are responsible for conducting various events for the students in college and essentially we are the ones in charge of making sure that your life in college isn't just limited and restricted to academics but then it goes beyond that to you know having fests in college having cultural programs having sports all of that is undertaken by the council in collaboration with again various cells various departments sometimes so yeah that's what the council does and we address students okay. grievances sometimes sorry how long it's been you being head boy like how long it's been oh. being a head boy of loyal academy being head boy okay so i think we became the head council members in july mm-hmm. yes so july would let me just count <laughs> five months this is the sixth month yes okay so could you please tell me six things which you learned from this six months of being a head boy okay wow 
one for each month. <laughs> yeah. Because the one thing is that uh, a team doesn't have to have all of them giving their hundred percent at all times, as long as there are others who are willing to come together and make up for it. That is important. The second thing is it is not necessary that things always go to plan. Things always, you know, there's always a scope for things to get messed up along the way, and that's completely fine as long as you are ready with an alternate. You're good to go. The third thing would be that I mean, I uh, okay, I'm having a bit of difficulty process how to put this in words. Yeah. So the third thing, one thing that has helped me learn is that the college has so much potential. The students in the college have so much potential because I did not know so many people who were so talented unless and until I got to know them from the student council. Okay, the council is 102 people who are extremely talented and very good at what they do. And I did not know that that was there in the college. Who is the most yes. talented person in the council? Most talented person? Okay. So <laughs> I would say each and every one of us is talented in our own way. But to make you happy, I'll say Rohit. <laughs> really enjoy the stories you put on Instagram. All right. So was the competition tough for the head boy? Definitely. I mean, if you look at the others who stood up for the position, I will not take names because I don't know if they would want me to. But then the others who were there, everyone was equally deserving. Everyone has put in so much work since the first year. And in the end, I think it just it came down to how the interviews went. And luckily, it happened to be my day. So I'm here. And if it wasn't my day, then someone else would have been here. And I'm sure they would have been doing a great job. Because I know each one of them who was there in competition. I've known them since the first year and they're all exceptional. Okay, so let's talk about the Magic Youth as you were Magic Youth first lead during the year 2022-23. Yes. Alright. So how was that experience of Magic Youth first lead? Magic Youth is the best part of my college journey. Okay. I Trust me. Magic Youth allowed me to learn so much about this college and so much about myself. Putting my name forward for the first lead of Magic Youth was the first time that I took a risk with myself and I put faith in my ability that you know what, let's not just be a team member, let's be a team leader. That was the first time I took up such a role because previously I was part of the council in junior college and I did not think I would have been capable of being head boy and then I was a, I put my name forward for the culture and I did not want anything else. But then Magic Youth, I don't know, somehow I got that faith in myself. I must thank some people for that, especially Sujit sir. He was a staff coordinator for Magic Youth and he told me to try for Magic Youth because he believed that I will do well and I hope I did. He is the one who has to speak for that and my department, my HOD, LC, my department uh, and the faculty that I had, Sheeta ma'am, Prithika ma'am, Sudeep sir, Swaralipi ma'am and I hope I'm not missing out, Jessica ma'am. Each one of them have supported me so much because you know I would get a chance to talk to each one of them throughout college, I still do and each time they definitely have something insightful for me to learn from so yeah I definitely look forward to that. So Magic Youth, speaking of Magic Youth, I was brilliant i mean the work that we did as a team was amazing that team was never complaining about anything there were 25 versus all 25 was ready to work at any time there have been times when we conducted events on a half day's note basis like i got in notice to conduct some event i don't remember what it was to conduct it that this has to happen in the afternoon and we did it and we did it successfully at that so i'm i've been very happy being part of magic youth it allowed me to learn more about myself and the best part was the outreaches that we did, especially the Second Chance Foundation visit is very close to my heart. So yes. So what is this Magic Youth actually? Okay, so Magic Youth is again one of the student bodies in Loyola Academy, but they are primarily a service oriented student body. Okay. So what they do is they conduct events and whatever funds they gather from that, go to charity. Okay, it goes to charity. Alright. So have you watched Dear Zindagi movie? Yes, I have. I actually watched it like in the Christmas vacation. As you are from Department of Psychology, I would like to ask one question. If you play a role of Shah Rukh Khan from Dear Zindagi, how do you think about that role as a psychiatrist? I think psychiatrists are brilliant people. I still admit I don't know. I don't think I know enough to know whether Shah Rukh Khan's portrayal of a psychiatrist was accurate or not. But then through the film, the, what they have shown, you know, how psychologists and psychiatrists can impact your life for the better only if you are willing to reach out for help. I think it's a wonderful message and I would love to be able to do that for others moving on in the future. So tell me, as we are growing in this generation, we prefer movie more than books. Hmm. So do you prefer movie or book? Books. Books. 
so how can someone like uh, how can someone increase their communication and skill in literature okay uh, i mean i think you should first develop an interest for it and interest can be developed through a very basic thing i mean i haven't read books my entire life i started reading when i was i think in the 8th grade and i picked up a book which most people do not like now and i personally don't either i don't think i would have i would go for it now but then start with very basic books with language that you understand and stories that are interesting to you on your own personal interest a person likes different kinds of stories you can like action i can like comedy someone else might like romance pick up those books in simple language and begin reading from there and slowly you will find yourself falling in love with books even more which is your favorite book i have many i think my most favorite has to be norwegian wood by haruki murakami and uh, the it deals with you know the story of a girl and a boy and then there's issues highlighted about the girl having mental health troubles and how there's some deaths that have affected it so yeah i think it's a very beautiful story it's been quite a while since i've read that book but then that book has stayed with me till now and i think it will my entire life so yes so are you an introvert or extrovert what would you say i am not sure actually okay, i think i fit the category of an introvert if you're looking at it because i don't typically tend to interact with people very easily i think you must have noticed it in the council i have heard so many council members say why did you not talk to me in the beginning and say i don't know what to say <laughs> it's very difficult sometimes so yeah i think i'm more of an introvert yeah that's it okay let's talk about a beautiful campus so how's the campus beautiful i mean i've been to some colleges as part of you know some competitions that i've been part of and i can admit honestly 100% our campus is the best that i've seen okay which is your favorite part like where you used to spend your time when you were in first or second year sorry first year the canteen i mean the lunch break i would meet up all my friends i mean most of my friends that i have in college are friends of mine from school mm -hmm, and okay. this same group of us sits in the canteen every day having lunch and we really enjoy talking to each other can you please say their name okay my friends from school okay so there is shiksha she is the literary head in the council there okay. is zainab she is a placement coordinator in the council there is krishna priya she is an alumni relations head there is revan he is the technical head there is prabhu he is not in the council he is from the csi department then there is aarti and there is also sanya she is the cell coordinator in the council okay apart from those two why everybody is in council along with you i guess we all just talented <laughs> i suppose <laughs> all right all right okay so let's talk about psychology yes okay why one should choose psychology department apart from other departments comparing to other courses which offers by royal academy i think the beauty of studying psychology or any humanity subject in general is that it doesn't restrict you to a particular technicality per se for example if you're studying science you're restricted to studying certain formula certain theories certain applications of things i mean which is not bad if that is your interest then go for it but that doesn't happen in the case of humanity subjects and psychology is still a science and we still learn all that but then it is such a science that is it is so versatile because each person's mentality is different if we look at medical science the digestive system works the same way in everyone so it's easy to identify what's going on the same doesn't have to happen have to be true in the case of psychology or psychological disorders if we're studying about it and psychology is something that can help you increase your life's wellness the quality of your life by so much i mean all of us want to be happy in the end whatever source for it we find we find friends we find family we find money all of that ultimately in the search of happiness and psychology can help you find reasonable ways to do that sometimes okay if you're not looking at it from mental health perspective but then reasonable ways to be happy in life all of that is possible so if you are someone who is interested in you know providing others an avenue to do that then pursue psychology so let's talk about the cultural activities and other activities how many events till now has happened in this academic year under your leadership i think i took a count there have been around 25 26 events i think i'm not sure of the exact number but yeah more than 25 which was the grand the grandest the grandest that was very successful the college event would be resonance resonance 2023 3 all right what is this resonance actually so resonance i'm sure most of the college people would be aware if you are not from rural or you're not aware then resonance is the annual cultural festival for like academy and it is something that the students who know what resonance is will look forward to every single year because resonance provides you with an opportunity to take a very 
needed break from academics. Residence typically happens around the beginning of the second semester, that is the even semester of the year. And after the final examination, so everyone that is stressed during final examinations, taking part in residence is a great way to get rid of that stress. So as a student, if I'm joining Loyola and I'm seeking for a job, do you suggest me, be honest, do you suggest me Loyola Academy for the for my better life? Okay. For my career options? Okay, well, I haven't opted for placements in the college, but then because I'm planning on pursuing higher studies. But speaking honestly, I think the number of placements have gone down. I might not know the reason for that. But then I can assure you that I've been in talks with the placement heads, the coordinators, the placement officers, and they're working very hard to make sure that this doesn't continue. And trust me, it'll get better from now. All right. So I have a list of questions, which uh, I kept one angel on my Instagram for you and many of juniors and other friends ask these questions. So I'm repeating the question. Please answer. Yes. Okay. What qualities are required to be head boy? There is no checklist of qualities that you require to be head boy. I mean, the general qualities are that leadership is required, having a presence of mind is required in situations, remaining calm, being able to handle pressure is required. But other than this, there's also, I think, a certain level of commitment that you can bring to the role and a certain level of motivation that you can give to your team. And that depends again on the type of person you are. So yeah, there's no checklist of qualities, but then the general qualities I mentioned should suffice. What was the first question father asked you? when you were in interview the first question technically would be what is the second option of portfolio other than that they've asked me the first question that they asked was what previous leadership experience do i have so you were student council body in junior college as well yes so my answer to that question was that i was the class representative of my class from the second grade in school till last wow. year of college Continuously, so yeah, there's that and then I was a council member for both my years in junior college in the first year I was the assistant cultural head in the second year. I was the cultural head moving on to here I was class representative in the first year first year of magic youth in the second year and here we are in the third year All right, second question is is it easy to is it easy to become the head boy or head girl of Loyola Academy? I don't think so because the council selection process itself requires you to clear three rounds of selections which are very hard especially the final round is an interview with the vice principals i don't know if they'll change it next year but for us it was an interview with the vice principals all the vice principals so it's not easy because you don't know what questions they'll throw at you and honestly they'll also evaluate how good you can perform based on the examples that you give of your previous experiences handling positions and situations so it's important to have previous experience in dealing with people dealing with teams managing teams leading events because that is when you will be that is what you'll be able to give as evidence of your leadership qualities in the end so yeah. so you're pretty active in the college fest and everything like from being your first year right yeah so could you please tell me about your last experience with the student council 2022 it was amazing because I was part of the Magic Youth Unit and we were working very closely with the student council last year. So I got to know many people. I met so many of them and honestly, apart from just working with them, many of them became such great friends of mine and such great people who helped me learn so much. There are many people who I still go to for advice if I need something from the council from last year. So it was amazing. So who advised you to become head boy? Who forced you basically? You know what forced me personally. Or was it you? To, yeah, it was my decision. I'll tell you how it came to me. Okay. There's a small little story. I don't know if it's interesting, but yeah. So the day that I got to know that I got the admission in junior uh, in degree college, Father Arul Jyoti was still the principal of junior college. Hmm. He was there, I think, until we were in the first year. Until when he came in the second year, when he joined here as a vice principal. So I went and told him because he was there when we were in the council there. I told him that Father, I've we've joined junior college. Sorry, degree, degree college. college. So confusing. Sorry. So, and then he told me one thing that I want to see you in the council and that sort of flit the fire under me that, yeah, and this time it should be head boy. All right. So, which club you were in? I was part of the arts club. I was actually the winner of the arts club. I have been given arts club and the magic and like of club this year to handle. So somebody is asking, where was Tanay born, his hobbies and schooling? 
Okay, I was born in Sultanpur in Uttar Pradesh and then we moved to Hyderabad. When Could you please repeat once again? I was born in Sultanpur in Uttar Pradesh. Hmm. I moved to Hyderabad because my father was working here. We moved here when I was one and a half years old and I've lived here since. My hobbies are drawing, painting, reading, sometimes cooking. I enjoy baking as well and I also, in terms of sports, I'm not very active but I do have a black belt in Taekwondo. So, just that. Taekwondo? Yes. Okay. And yeah, martial arts has always been interesting to me. And uh, speaking of my schooling, I studied in Sadashiva High School, which is in Boinpali. It's near to my house and it was very convenient. And then my junior college happened in Loyola Academy Junior College. Mm. And the graduate is here. Hmm. Okay, so somebody is asking, does everything go according to your preference in council? Not all the time. It's not necessary that it has to go according to my preference because there are some things that I would like to have done other ways that happen sometimes. But then... If I become so rigid that I'm unable to take other people's suggestions, then I don't think it's a team. It's just me telling them what to do and them doing what they're told. And that defeats the purpose of being a team. So, yeah, I have no complaints about things not going to my preference. So, this is my question. How's your coordination with uh, head girl? It's good. I mean, wherever it's needed, we talk to each other, we communicate with each other. And even if sometimes that doesn't happen, we are able to resolve it and get over it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so somebody is asking, what is what is it to be the head boy? Same question, I guess. What is it to be the head boy? Well, you look Could you please some, some qualities? My qualities? Oh, yeah. I, I I don't think I would be, it would be good to list down my qualities. But I still, just, as a head boy, you can mention some few, at least. I would like to think that I have leadership, that I have commitment. I know I have commitment because I have dedicated so much time to this college. And I have no complaints about that. And uh, I think I also have the ability to stay patient in situations. Sometimes I might lose my cool, but then I try to stay patient as much as I can. And also a presence of mind, especially in situations where things are not going to plan. I think a presence of mind is required to come up with an alternative. What makes you angry? Me. There's nothing in specific that makes me angry. I mean, usually it's when people are unable to understand what they're required to do. That is something that gets me very frustrated. Have you ever got angry on me by any reason? Not I know I'm, I'm I'm a bit irritating, but still I'm asking. And not on you. You might have contributed to it sometimes, it? but then it's never solely one person. Because if I get angry, it's like it's anger from many different reasons. Because I try to not show my anger immediately in the moment because I think it just ruins something. Especially yeah. when we're working on something. Just if give a stare. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so somebody is asking, what? Why do you always have a serious face? Well, that is just my face. <laughs> you can't help it. I'm sorry. I know. I try to smile more, but then my face hurts if I smile too much. So yeah, that's just how my face is, guys. Okay. So your journey throughout his li your life. Sorry. My life's journey. Okay. Well, moving to Hyderabad after that, I did my schooling, and schooling went smooth. Junior college were also pretty smooth. I've personally faced some challenges with, especially with regards to you know, medical conditions in my family in the last two, three years, and since my first year actually. But touch wood, this year nothing has happened, and hopefully it doesn't. But yeah, I've tried to navigate that. I have tried to make sure that that doesn't get in the way of you know me being head boy and my biggest. Motivation to do things in my life has been my parents, especially my mom. My mom has been there for me throughout. You know, she, I think, is the biggest believer of me. She doesn't show it. Okay, if I get something, if I tell her mom I got this, she'll be like, okay, that's what she says. She says nothing else. But then, yeah, you know, on investitures, you get to call your parents on stage. I was standing on stage and I saw my mom smiling so big. And I, that is the biggest smile she's smiled in a very long time. That made me very happy. Okay, so somebody is asking. Does everyone take your approval before doing something in council? Ideally, yes. I mean, if it's small things that do not have any major, that would not have any major consequence if it does not go to plan, then I let them take their own call because I think the best way that I can help everyone in the council grow is if I let them also take some decisions on their own. But then if in major matters, 
where the approval has to be taken then yes let's come to something special okay please be honest okay which is the best council as of now as of now academic year wise okay is ours included or no of course i would say ours <laughs> because see you know council hasn't been easy for us every time we do an event it's either rain or it's either power cuts that happen all the time but we still manage to get past that so i think that doesn't happen if it's just a regular team of people so there must be something very special in all 102 of us to make it through all of that so yeah i would say us but then apart from us i really like the last year's council which is your favorite block my favorite block inigo why i not commerce my life has been in inigo and honestly every time i go to class i don't get to go to class many times but then every time i go to class i miss it a little bit because it's so fun being in my class who is your best friend i have many best friends the people i sit in with the canteen mm. i mentioned earlier oh sorry <clears throat> please mention <laughs> okay let's come to some personal questions as a head boy do you have girlfriend uh, no why because i think there's enough in my life right now and i do not have the mental capacity or energy to deal with a relationship then so here yeah, my mind would go nuts how's your sibling my sibling okay he is the polar opposite of me is it he is the opposite of me what is his name his name is abhay abhay okay tane abhay he was named after my grandfather my grandfather passed away before we were born itself so my grandmother wanted to name my brother after my grandfather okay so as you mentioned that you have a good leadership quality you are open up to talk to everybody so could you please tell me how to be how to be a good orator okay i think being a good orator comes with reading upon things and it doesn't have to be extensive reading honestly you can be a jack of all trades and still be good because when you speak what is essential is how much you know about it and sometimes even if you know very little about the subject if you have enough faith in yourself and if you have the capacity to frame your words in a right way then you can be a good orator and essentially that ability to frame things comes with practice it has to be you know a regular practice for example if i have to do an audition for an mc for example i had to mc audition to be the mc for the investor last year and my practice was standing in front of the mirror and pretending i was the mc and looking at how i'm doing checking how my sentence formation was checking how my enunciation is pronunciation is enunciation and pronunciations are you know pronunciation is how you say the word enunciation is the stress you place upon a word for example if i say mai yahan gaya there's no emotion in it mai yahan gaya the stress is on yahan there that makes it interesting to listen to you want to know more when i say mm. it like that that is what happens so you have to increase interest while talking right you have to generate interest right generate interest and okay. that happens with your enunciation and your pronunciation and how well you are able to put it and you always say that ki council mein budget nahi hai when it comes to anything ki kuch bada karenge so isko kaise cover karoge budget kyon nahi hai okay so the reason for that is because we don't get a fund from college and i understand the reasons for that as well and we also can't use the funds for personal use that is obviously wrong so what we do is we have a carefully planned budget of expenses for each event every expense miscellaneous whatever expense it is the smallest expense has to be taken care of and putting forth a budget and we also have to be careful that we do not exceed that budget so yes so tell me one thing like being honest this should be mentioned that if you want to be in council you should be rich isn't it i mean i would say 50 50 why like uh, being honest it's not about disrespect for the college whenever it, com- it comes to any event council has to bring all the bills and everything if i lost my bill it will be a loss for me as well right yes so what do you see like suppose many students second year students are ready to be in council next year what do you suggest them okay um, ideally you shouldn't have to spend from your pockets from next year and we are trying to work with the management for that we're already talking to the treasurer we're talking to the vice principal the principal to make sure that that doesn't happen from next year so you should be good to go from next year and we are also trying to make arrangements for the things that you have to buy we have had to buy they should already be available for the second years from whatever money we have left that is given by the college so idea that shouldn't be a problem but then in case that happens be very careful with the bills because there's a reason they ask for bills they also have to maintain their accounts they have to make sure they are accountable to 
higher officials, whoever might come for an audit in the college. So they have to have all the records there. So yes, do not lose bills. If you think you will lose the bill, give it to someone who won't. That is what I do. How do you see the infrastructure of the college? I think it's good. I mean, there's definitely room for improvement everywhere. And I don't think I'll be the best person to speak about it because I don't get to see the entire infrastructure. I wouldn't get to see what infrastructure they have for science students, for students of management, for students of commerce. They should be the ones. So hopefully we can sometime have a forum for discussion on where the college can improve. And hopefully we can put that forth to the Many of the things that we see right now, for example, every class is have new, L new LCD projectors. We have a new block entirely. We have more labs. We have, I think, they've increased the number of equipments in the Ma Mascom studio. And uh, also, yeah, I think generally we have also expanded the stages, as you can see. I don't think we had this stage last year or we might have had towards the end of last year, this stage that we're sitting on right now. And so, yeah, I think there has been development and I think there are still continuing many infrastructural developments in the college. So why our college is keeping this club for first years? Could you please elaborate? Because they think that it is a burden for them for this six months. Okay. So to all the first, I would say the clubs are a great way for you to find new friends. College shouldn't just be restricted to your academics. You also complain about that. Do not, I, I don't think anyone should say that they don't because everyone says college shouldn't just be academics. If it was, it would be very boring. You would hate coming to college. Correct. Now clubs, my, even if they're not of your interest, meet people, talk to them because we're not restricting you from talking to people in clubs. I don't think that is what is happening in any club. You're free to make friends. You're free to mingle with others. Use it as that opportunity. Now, if you are in a club that you're interested in, use it as an opportunity to you know, demonstrate your skill and even learn and do better at what you're doing. Already. What is the one thing you want to change in college? The one thing I want to change. Okay, ideally, I think if our college was able to provide the option of getting an honors degree for all of the students, not just specific courses. And I know it's a slow process. That's why it's for specific courses now. But then ideally, every student should have that opportunity. Because there are many people who want to go abroad and there are many abroad universities that do not accept three-year degrees. Right. And there's only agriculture that provides a four-year degree. And other than that, now we have mass communication and um, multimedia and animation that have expanded into providing honors degrees. I think that should be the case for all of the departments. And I know that they're working on it. They will be doing that. Expand. They're expanding to some departments next year. And hopefully it should cover all of the departments very soon. And yeah, other than that, I also think they should create an environment for students to be able to, you know, develop more skills. Looking at employability right now, especially with the new social, political, geopolitical situations that are happening and technological advancements that are happening. I think not just our college, each and every college needs a revision of their syllabus and what they are teaching to the students, what they're inculcating to them to make sure that they are more industry ready and fit to work in the future. So do you find any discrimination in the campus? Any kind of discrimination? Personally, I haven't witnessed or seen discrimination, but I have heard of instances and it has come to the council. I mean, not our council. I've seen something come up to the last year's council. And yes, I think we have a ragging cell. I think most students should be aware of it. You know, we do have a culture in our campus and I'm thankful to say that ragging doesn't happen on our campus. But then that has also led to students not knowing what to do even in case they get mistreated for some reason. They do not know what to do because it doesn't happen on a regular basis. Right. Mm. I think we should do something to make sure that all the students know about it. So what is the procedure to get the solution if somebody is getting trouble by anybody? Okay, so ideally speaking of the official way, you can approach your HOD from your department or any other teacher you trust. We have mentors also, but then if you do not, if you're not able to open up to your mentor, you can still go to any faculty you like. There's multiple faculty, there must be some, someone who you trust, not just from your department otherwise, anyone. If not that, go to the vice principals or have it sent to the vice principals through the faculty that you talk to and the vice principals will take it forward from there. Otherwise, what you can also do is you can come approach the student council. You can let us know the details and we will take it forward for you in whatever capacity we can. So what are the power which student council has? Okay, there's, I, don't, I don't like to call them power. I like to call them responsibility. All right. We Sorry. have the responsibility of making sure that the students are, have a good campus life, okay. not just academic. Academic is for the management to decide. 
but what happens on campus to make college interesting for them is our job and responsibility and whatever you know access we get that other students might not get is to use to make sure that college life is better for the other students so tell me how this student con being a student council how it is helpful for my life or your life okay you are a head boy hmm. what about other portfolios i'm not discriminating i'm not taking yeah, yeah. there is a hierarchy but still i'm saying how does how does this student council will help me for my future being part of the student council is an example of you demonstrating certain leadership skills because there were 300 of us who appeared for the student council examinations there's only 100 of us who are in the council and that's less than a 50% cut that demonstrates that you have some special quality in you that is the reason why you were chosen you can use this in your resume going forward to demonstrate that you know your life hasn't just been learning in a classroom it has also been more than that beyond that conducting activities that you have ability to manage things you have ability to organize things that you have ability to lead people and work in a team Mm. Now you are a PR head, right? And honestly speaking, public relations is a very largely growing profession right now. Every company and every organization now requires a public relations officer because they, most of them are on social media, and who will handle that? Who know? And public relations requires you to, you know, create a good standing with the audiences or the customers that you're targeting. And your portfolio is something that is really helpful for anyone who wishes to pursue a career in that. So, who is your role model? My role model. Very difficult question. There's no role model I have in particular. Don't you have any favorite person from where you learn a lot? They yes. inspire you, or he or she inspires you? I really can't think of anyone right now. I don't know. My mom inspires me to work. That is there. I already mentioned that. Other than my mom and my parents in general, there really is nobody. Because, you know, what I do is for them. I feel really happy when I go back home with something to show them that, you know, I did Do you have any bad habits? No. Which do you prefer the khan? Ye galat tha yaan. Achana, I say, I do not like that I procrastinate many times. I procrastinate a lot. So, I ideally I should change that. You procrastinate in your professional life as well as being a head boy of Royal Academy? No, I don't think so. You tell me, do I? No, you don't. I know. Then, yeah. then I don't. Tell me, how do you manage your sleep cycle? There's no managing it. There's just getting through the day for now. When I get to sleep, I sleep. When I have work, I get up. That's how it's going right now. There's no managing the sleep cycle. So you're balancing your academics and student council head boy? Well, I'll admit that it hasn't been easy, especially this year. But then I think what is important is, I mean, I'll be honest. I'm not saying this in a sense of bragging, but then I'm someone who grasps things quite easily. And I think that is because of my command over language and what he studies in English and I'm able to understand what is written. So. I'm able to explain it to myself in my own terms and that's what helps me clear exams. So I think that is what helps me but then that should, isn't a formula that is applicable to everyone. So I think what it comes down to is being able to prioritize things in your life and your priorities need not remain the same throughout the academic year if you are in the council. No matter what portfolio, you will have work from the council, you will have to balance your academics. So what it will come down to is how you are able to prioritize things given the time appropriately. Okay, so are you happy? Being a head of level academy, I am. it makes you like stressful life. Something. It is stressful and I might complain sometimes, but then it's not something that I regret. This is something I chose and I am proud that I chose it. Okay, I, uh, we want to know a few words about the Dean of Student Affairs, K. Saras Chandra ma'am. Okay, ma'am is my favorite person in college because she is so nice to us, okay. and She is nice because yeah, she is nice with you or... Like, could you please elaborate about her mood? Saraskan is so amazing. I don't know how she manages all of this. She teaches in the department of BCom Honors. She is the Dean of Student Affairs here. She manages her home. And I've seen her work so much. And I've never seen a more hardworking person in my life. And I think every one of us in the council learns so much from her about balancing things. And she's someone who, you know, we know we can trust. She's not someone who we are afraid of. She's someone who we believe in. That she'll hold us together. Words. So let's talk about council. Members. Sorry. Your team. Hmm. Okay. Who is more talkative in council? Most talkative. The head girl. The head girl. Okay. Shania Cruz, right? Yeah. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's fun. Healthy talks. Yeah. Yeah. 
Who is most naughty? Naughty? Ashwin Suresh. He is evented. He does so much mischief and he likes to prank everyone so much. And I mean, I admit, I also indulge in mischief sometimes. But when the time is right, and he is always doing that, so Ashwin. Do we have great event hits this year? Yes. They are hard working. They dedicate their time. You see Rana, he stays back. I mean, working on the Christmas script that we saw in the admin block, in front of the admin block at the information kiosk this year. We, me, Rana, Sam, Vaish, uh, Vaish was there for some time. Abhijit. Abhijit was there. And Akash, Akshay was there. Bibin was there. We came to college in the morning at the regular time, 9, 9.30 and then we went back home the next day at 7 a.m. So that is how dedicated our council members are, not just the event heads, but then event heads especially because they have to be there for every event and bringing in that every dedication for every event is something to, you know, commend definitely. Which portfolio has less work? Like as many people ask me, Jiska kam kam hai, mein ko wo recommend karna. So what do you think? To say someone has less work is not right because I think every portfolio is important. Hmm. There are portfolios that have work during specific times in the year. That is there. But then I am not saying that it's a bad thing to have work during specific times of the year. For example, we have certain, we take help from every council member during whatever event it is. You know, uh, I might call whoever council member is available in the college if there is someone who is not available. So, I am not saying anyone has less work. When you are in the council, you are not restricted to your portfolio. You will do everything. You have worked for events, right? That should ideally be for an event head's work. But you have done that, have you not? I have done the work of literary head sometimes. I have written scripts for MCs. Yeah, so, many, so many times I, say, I, I personally ask yeah, you about have, the captions. Yeah, and I help with documentation sometimes. So, it is not restricted to your portfolio. So, no portfolio has less work. If you are talking about official work that comes to your portfolio's name, for example, technical heads look after the technical arrangements, they are working throughout the year. Then we have cell coordinators who look after cells activities, women, cell gender equity cell, they work with the cells specifically. Like that if you are talking, then the alumni relations heads, they work for the alumni meet and sometimes, some other times when the alumni coordinator, I think, I am not sure of the portfolio, I am very sorry, it is Sirisha ma'am who is the assistant CEO, she works with the alumni. So, she takes their help during whatever event she needs. So, there are specific portfolios with names that have worked during specific time of the year, official work, but then otherwise everyone is working throughout the year. Hmm. So, talking about the sports secretaries, Akshay, hmm. according Akshay. to you, how, how that person is? Because he's the, he's the next person after head boy and head girl. Akshay and Shravika are so chill. <laughs> as people, it's so enjoyable, so fun, and they're also helpful and ready to help whenever we need. So I really appreciate that. And Akshay is a great friend. I haven't interacted with the Shavika much, I admit, but then from what I've known, she's amazing. So how is Sanskari Bachcha according to you? Be honest, please. Sanskari Bachcha. Sanskari Bachcha is. Be honest. He sometimes goes rogue. Okay, he wants to do what he wants. But then I think what I like is that you have learned to compromise over the years. I mean, not over the years, over the months. There only been six months, so what? It's so long. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think I've seen that growth in you, working in a team, and I like that. Okay, let's talk about the head girl. As you, you were mentioning that she's talkative. Mm -hmm. I guess to start uh, head girl or head boy coordination. Shania called me the day we got to know the council results immediately okay. after the meeting was over and then I told her I think you were my senior in school. She was. She's in PG now. That's why she was my senior in school. So yeah, we know. I know her Why did her you mention the school? Hmm? Why did you mention the school? Why? Uh -huh. I mean, I'm just saying that's when I know her from. She doesn't know me from school. Okay, okay, okay. But okay. I know Shania was there. Mm. Okay, she was singing in school. So I know her from then and from that phone call, I think that established some sort of friendliness because of which we were like okay fine this person i know them from here and when you're able to relate people to personal experiences i think that makes it easier to talk to them and yeah from then now we coordinate whatever events are there and especially because pg and uj have an entirely different academic schedule it's difficult for us to have everyone present at all times they have exams at a different time we have exams at a different time so in such times we make sure that you know each one of us takes up whatever responsibility we have whenever we are available 
but then whenever we are able to collaborate whenever both of us are free we take up that so ek myth hai college mein that uh, student council will roam around the campus hmm. they'll get od for free is it true no. be honest no so i'm sure you know the how would the od process works the documentation heads ask you for the hours and the reason and what happens when they ask you the reason is they send the reason to me and shanaya because we are the ones who are supposed to be assigning your work if we are not aware then we ask ma'am if she gave you the work and only then you will get orders otherwise you do not get orders so what is your attendance percentage right now my attendance percentage right now i am missing some orders so my attendance percentage is 82% and yeah hopefully the orders get up. have you been to class this semester yes i have been to class today oh okay <laughs> after how long after a week or something how many day, days you attend the class in the last semester last semester i went to class in a total of 3 days only yeah 3 days only and For whole days, hours uh, not even entire hours okay some hours galti se <laughs> but this year i'm trying to attend more classes because yeah i'm just finding more time at the beginning of the year and i think the events this semester i'm sorry are lesser than last semester and it's a little less hectic so i'm finding a little more time to give to classes so are you the topper of psychology department from your class i don't think i am right now i was till last year when they gave awards i don't know who it is right now but i don't think i will be why i don't know i, th- I mean my performance has been same but then i think there are others who have done better okay so could you please say a few words about aditya doka from your class aditya oh wow he uses words that none of us know and he is he, the shashi tharur of dal uh, academy ha huh, he is a shashi tharur right precisely he uses he uses words i don't know sometimes he he texted me something and the only way i could it was buffalo and it was not buffalo it was something else entirely and i don't know and you know he i think he, and he has such a great talent for understanding literature and he writes as well he has published a book and i think that is something to commend the sundar kant right the book yes. name yeah and i think that is something we should commend because it's not easy to write a book and get it published it it is a very long process it's a very tedious process and he has done that so he he it is something that we should all really appreciate so and as a friend he is also very nice hmm. so your parents ask about your results no i tell them my results come and that's all they don't my parents thankfully have never questioned me on my results they're not those kind of parents so do like are you just do you just manage the studies or do you really study i do study i okay. think i would like to think i study i mean sometimes it's about managing things like when we have events close to an exam then it's about managing to cover up whatever is there for the exam but then ideally when i do get time i do study for example right now i have a lot of time and we are working on our projects and i am really dedicated to my project i really enjoy it so yeah. why college says to keep at least or to maintain 75% attendance at least well looking at it from a logic point of view that is proposed for attendance because attendance is a requirement in all of the colleges not just our college and what the general logic is that if you are able to maintain that attendance that would be that would mean that you are present in class for some time listening to class or not that is again up to you but then if you are present for at least 75% of the time you must have listened to something and that might help improve your academic performance and also being able to adhere to a schedule like that or being able to you know adhere to that percentage i think also shows a level of punctuality and discipline that you have maybe at least maybe just a little bit but then at least something okay so apart from being or making a habit when you wake up in the morning how do you manage yourself to be active all the day like don't you feel ki aaj man nahi hai karne ka that feeling is there on many days but then what i tell myself when i feel like that is that you signed up for this man nahi karega to nahi chalega you have to do it have you ever felt to resign from head boy uh just a thought thought has come but then no that's not something i would act on i'm very happy being here so i have a small story so during this navdhara time <laughs> this guy was saying bhai agar main ghar ja raha hu aur mera accident ho gaya main mar gaya to kya ye navdhara hoga <laughs> why that question you ask me i don't know i do sometimes have morbid thoughts i don't know why are you an over thinker Hmm? Yeah, I am. I am. But then I don't know. These thoughts come to me randomly, more abstract thoughts, and I don't know why. But yeah, and that day I don't know. I was so free, I just said it. 
I was thinking कि ये ऐसा क्या आज क्यों सोच रहा है? So being a being from a department of psychology, could you please tell our audience about awareness regarding the suicide? Like recently we received a message or video from Geetam University, hmm. their first year department, and like some girl did suicide. That is wrong, yes. actually. How do you see these things? I mean, one thing we need to understand when the person commits suicide, it's not easy to take your life because everyone has that survival instinct. And when you give up on that, that means that they've lost all hope, and there was no one to help them when they needed. Because as I don't think, generally speaking, from what I know, I'm not claiming to be an expert on the subject in any way whatsoever. But then, whatever limited information I have from that, I can say that. Whoever is suicidal will definitely reach out or show some signs that they need help at some point or the other, and it is up to the people around them to be aware of it and know that, ah, ऐसा है, this person needs help and we should help them. Because if a person is dying by suicide, I don't like to use the word commit because commit is associated with a crime, and I don't think a person taking their own life is technically a crime because they don't find that hope to keep living anymore. and the fact that we allow for such a situation to happen is wrong we should be proactive in taking up the time and making the effort to learn about these mental health warnings and how in general we can look after the people that we love and i think if every one of us takes the effort to do that then we will be able to you know overcome the challenge of people not talking about these things and then ending up in a situation where they feel like suicide is the only way as many people describe about their situation regarding depression their stress level of course everybody has a stress but when it comes to depression ab let's talk about the word depression ye aaj se 10 saal 15 saal pehle nahi tha depression has always been tha awareness nahi tha talked about hmm. okay how do you see this depression word because okay, so depression sometimes people use it to refer to this uh, a sadness that they feel but then there is also something that we i mean being stressed and then it becoming to a level where it can be classified as psychological disorder are two different things and the, similarly for depression being depressed for a little while and then it becoming a depressive disorder is a different thing and a depressive disorder is when it is concerning i mean ideally you shouldn't be depressed either but then fluctuations in mood fluctuations in emotions are natural that should be happening you should be experiencing that you shouldn't avoid your feelings but when that is prolonged to an unhealthy level where tum life mein function nahi kar pa rahe ho theek se that is an is concerning any emotion even if it is stress right if stress is causing you dysfunction in life too much stress or too little stress also is not good similarly too much happiness too little happiness too much sadness too little sadness if it is causing dysfunction in your life matlab agar you are not able to function like before because of anything you should ideally see a professional his instagram id is tanay singh Okay. Nursing one nine one four. Why one nine one four? That is my date of birth, nineteenth of January two thousand four. Ah ha. Okay. Nine one. Okay. All right. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, Instagram gave me some random number, and I can't use the username Tanay Singh. So I thought one nine one four is the best number I can take. So you always post after any event, right? If I get good pictures, then yes. Oh wow. Which is your favorite post? My favorite. Uh -huh. My favorite post. Uh, it has to be. I think the post on my last birthday, because if you know the context of it, you'll hmm. question why I did that. So my father was undergoing a surgery at the time, a major surgery, and I was not planning on celebrating my birthday. But then I overthink so much. So my parents were like, "You go." My mom was like, "You go. Have fun. Don't stay home." And my friends, they all planned this entire thing out and. it was a really good time and was and served as a great distraction my ideally avoiding a problem is not how you deal with it but then i needed that distraction at the time and yeah it was good so i really like that and plus the pictures are very nice so today is the date is 18th january and tomorrow is 19th january tanay singh's birthday so i'm gifting this this i'm shooting this podcast on 18 and tomorrow i'll of course tomorrow i won't uh, uh post it on youtube but it will take time but i am gifting this podcast to head boy tanay singh thank you so much to it so happy birthday tanay singh head boy thank you thank you very much so let's talk about some entertainment questions so twitter is something something where everything is controversial 
but instagram is something where something is informatic but some sometimes it get cringe hmm. so do you also get cringe reels many times and i enjoy cringe reels bhai kisko nahi hasna nahi wo theek hai lekin fir bhi ek type lagta hai na itna there is a limit to cringe itna ganda kabhi kabhi hota hai but then that i just share with my friends ki maine dekha ki some online friends uh one of them is from jharkhand one from thailand one from philippines we just meet often we just we met thrice and i have known her for two years so yeah so are you on facebook by any chance i do have an account but i don't use it i have cleared everything from facebook so are you a private person or a public person when it comes to social media ideally private but i like to also think a little bit of public is fine hmm okay so in your bio there is this artist hmm. which we discuss about bibliophile Which we discussed about. Mm. What is this aesthetic? Aesthetic. Aesthetic. Is. Aesthetic. Aesthetic is someone who admires art, and I admire art. I love looking at art and decoding the meaning of different artworks. So yeah. Okay. So do you have Tanya Singh art account as well, right? Mm. So how this digital art came in your mind? Ki illustration hi karna hai. Okay. So huh, drawing has always been close to my heart. The earliest memory I have in my life. Is me sitting with my upstairs neighbor. She was a college-going student, and she was teaching me everything. She was teaching me how to write letters, drawing, and all of that. And the earliest memory I have from my life is me filling in colors in the drawing of a rose, and her telling me, "Don't go outside the line." And I have been drawing since then, and I must have been two or one years old at the time. No, not one, two years old, let's say. And तब से मैंने start किया, and then uh, in around 2018 or 2017, I began experimenting with digital art because it was coming up and I love digital art now, and it's oh, all I do. You have this post. Did you delete the post? Which one? Huh. Okay. So let's not talk about it. So tell me, what do you imagine before doing this art thing? Nothing. I. I do you have any anyone who is in real and you are sketching? No, I am a person with the worst creative blocks. I do not draw for very long sometimes. And कभी कभी if I'm just scrolling through Instagram, ऐसे कुछ अच्छा लग गया, so I just take idea from that and I draw. That's how it happens. Dream क्या है तुम्हारा? Like, what do you want to be uh, achieve in life? I honestly don't know right now. I just be rich. My <laughs> sound shallow, but yeah, hopefully. Other than that, if you ask my professional aspirations, I'm still deciding on what stream in psychology to pursue. Ideally, I like to pursue psychology. It's Because I think it's very interesting, but then literature is also there. I love literature too, so it's getting a hard, a little hard for me to decide. What is the difference between making a self-love and being a shallow? See, self-love isn't unhealthy, and shallowness is sometimes unhealthy. Shallowness is, of course, unhealthy. Self-love has a basis to it, and it is actually there for a reason. You should practice it for a reason. Being shallow is just shallow. There's no use to it. So, how many trees are there in the campus right now? Total trees? I do not know. I think there should be a thousand at least, more than a thousand. Please note it. He is going to ask this question in next year academic uh, student council exam. Okay. <laughs> so we have a sort of rapid fire questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chai or coffee? Chai. Beach or mountains? Beach. Okay. Intro or extra? Intro. Ah, uh, no. Early bird or night owl? Night owl. Cats or dogs? Dogs. City life or village life? Village life. Why? Actually, city life. I'm more comfortable there, but then I miss the village so much. Okay. I haven't been to my village in so long, and I want to. Summer or winter? Winter. Bunking or classes? Classes. Pen or pencil? Pen. <laughs> okay. Bislari or bilseri? This love. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Tanesh. Thank you so much for the visit. Please stand, Modi ji. <laughs>